On the behalf of Maranatha Baptist University, I want to welcome you to Calvary Baptist Church. We are delighted that you're with us this evening. If you have some type of a phone or electronic device that needs to be silenced, let me encourage you to do that at this time. Or if it happens to go off in the midst of the performance this evening, please stand up and turn it off. That way we don't wonder whose phone it is. All right? And that'll just be a great help to us this evening. Let me also mention that out in the foyer, uh, we have a display table that has a number of pieces of information about Maranatha, as well as our newest CD. It's called Answer the Call. And so during the intermission or following the service this evening, if you want to stop by there, there'll be folks who will tell you a little bit about some of those pieces of information. As you look over your program, you will see that there will be an offering taken during the Pastoral Symphony, uh, that selection. So you can make any checks out to Maranatha or to MBU. There will also be a 15-minute intermission following Rejoice Greatly, O Daughter of Zion. All of the lyrics tonight are taken from the King James translation of the scriptures or from the Book of Common Prayer with just a few slight adaptations. Uh, the selections are not necessarily storytelling, but they're really an opportunity for each of us to stop, pause, and meditate on who the Messiah is. We want you to sit back. We want you to relax and enjoy the experience. It's a journey from darkness to light, from judgment to deliverance, from promise to fulfillment. When Handel composed the Messiah for 23 days, he completely withdrew himself from the things around him. He immersed him, himself in his music. And in fact, even the food that was often brought to him was left untouched. Describing his feeling when the hallelujah chorus burst on his mind, Handel said, I did think I did see all heaven before me and the great God himself. We hope you'll do that as well this evening. And so tonight we do have the privilege to immerse ourselves in the scripture through music. We trust that each one of us will be refreshed as we listen to a various selections from Handel's Messiah. So let's just look in the Lord, to the Lord in prayer as we begin this evening. Father, we thank you for who you are. Thank you for the scriptures and for someone who is willing to take the word of God and to use it, to put it to music so that our lives can be transformed. And so, Lord, we want that this evening. Thank you for Maranatha Baptist University, for all of our faculty, our staff, our administration, all of our students. And then, Lord, we thank you for all the visitors that are here tonight, for the safety that you've given to us. Help us tonight to see you, to sit back and take this journey and picture you, our Messiah, as we listen to what takes place this evening. In Christ's name, amen. So please join me as we welcome our soloists, as well as our conductor, Dr. Doug Bacharick. Join with me, please.
the dry land And I will shake And I will shake All nations I'll shake The heavens, the earth, the sea The dry land, all nations I'll shake Shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts.
and gross darkness the people and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising.
the smiters. He gave his back to the smiters and his cheeks to them that pluck it off the hair and his cheeks to them that pluck it off the hair and his cheeks to them that pluck it off the hair he hid not his face from shame and spitting he hid not his face from shame
dwelleth in heaven shall laugh them to scorn. The Lord shall have them in derision.
shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trumpet, shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible. The trumpet shall
shall set, and the dead shall be raised, and the dead shall be raised in corruptible. The trumpet shall sound. say, uh, Dr. Anderson, what are you doing? It's, the program's not quite done. We know that. <laughs> we want to save the best for last. And my words are feeble. The words of the Word of God are glorious, aren't they? I do want to take a moment and just thank Calvary Baptist Church for the pleasure of using your auditorium. Thank you so much. It's been a blessing to be here tonight. And then afterwards this evening, please, has this not been just full of joy and blessing? I hope that your hearts have been richly blessed. I don't know about you, but I've been to numerous performances of the Messiah. I've been to the full version. You say, is this not the full version? Hang on, there's lots more. <laughs> and I've been to performances where it's been performed by people that don't know the Lord as their Savior. The music is glorious. The words have no power. And tonight we've been able to hear the power of the Word of God given to us by young people, adults, that love the Lord. I don't know about you, but I've felt the communication. They believe what they're singing.
Do you? I'm reminded of the story that we all probably know quite well from Luke chapter 2. I'll start in the middle of the story of the incarnation of Christ. And there was in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. I always like to chuckle at that point. That's probably an understatement. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying lying in a manger. And then, like what maybe Handel thought of as he had a grand and glorious choir, in his mind as he was composing, it says, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, and we really come here um, to the whole purpose and what the incarnation did. Wrapped up in a song that's so glorious that only God could design it and write it. Sung by an angel choir that we look forward to one day hearing. Maybe we've seen a little touch or heard a little touch of heaven this evening. What did they sing? I wonder if they, like Handel, repeated it four million times. (laughs) Maybe it's because we're dull of hearing so we need it repeated. I don't know. Glory to God in the highest. The incarnation of Christ was planned from eternity past, before the foundation of the world. In fact, the writer of Hebrews says that Christ was slain before the foundation of the world. God knew that we, after the glorious creation, would sin. When given choice, we chose to rebel. You say, well, I didn't do that. Oh, you're made of the same stuff, pal. If you'd have been there, you'd have done the same thing. It's a condemnation that condemns all of us. Handel picked it up often in many of these choruses and solos tonight. Judgment is sure. And yet, the incarnation of Christ brings glory to a God who in his foreknowledge knew that we would sin. And yet, he loved us so much that he died. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. Undeserved No way that we could earn it. Christ died for you and me. And that brings glory to one person only, and that's to our great God. And so they sing this glorious chorus, glory to God in the highest. I wonder if his glory is here tonight in the lowest, on earth. You say, well, I don't know. Dr. Anderson, what are you talking about? Well, you have been made to praise God in your life. That's the design of the Creator. And that's the purpose of providing redemption for each of us. The only way I can do that is begin by accepting the reality that I'm a sinner and that Jesus died for me. And by faith and repentance, coming to Him and beginning a life that now brings glory to God because it's washed in the blood of the Lamb who is most worthy of our praise. He goes on, glory to God in the highest, and then the angels sing, and on earth, peace. You say, I'm looking around here and there's no peace. There's no peace in Israel tonight, is there? What what are the angels singing? On earth, peace? Ah, yes. Even in the incarnation of Christ, 2,000 years ago. That moment is the beautiful picture of the reconciliation of God that he provides if we would by faith trust him. Jesus Christ is our reconciliation. He has made a way for us to be right with God again and provide wonderful peace. The relationship is whole, it's clean, it's complete. Only in Christ, on earth, peace. 
Do you know that peace? Oh, this world is full of trouble. We're born unto it, as Job said, as the sparks fly upward. But in Christ, we have peace. And that wonderful night when Christ was born was the beautiful picture on earth. There he is, the peace of God. Did not the choir already sing of that tonight? Wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. That's worthy of singing about. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill toward men. God's great favor. A term that we often connect with grace. In the coming of Christ, long ago on the night of the Christmas, first Christmas night, grace was demonstrated and seen in living color, in flesh. God became man to demonstrate his favor and love for us. He willingly gave his life in my place and yours. Is that not favor? Is that not worthy of our praise? Is that not worthy of our faith and repentance? If you don't know Christ as your Savior, you have not yet known the favor of God. And those songs of judgment that were sung tonight are your future. But they, must, they don't have to be. God has sent his favor in his Son. Would you trust him tonight? There will come a day, believer, all of us that know the Lord is our Savior have turned from our sin. Or with voices that are no longer cracked, bodies that are no longer feeble, we will be able to raise our voices. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Hallelujah.
Amen. Thank you for coming this evening. If you would have questions about your salvation, we would be delighted to talk with you afterwards. Have a wonderful evening.